Hey, it's Mr. Saturday, and I'm going to give you a Spec Ops Survival Guide. But let's just nosedive right on into this thing. Step 1. First thing that you should worry about buying. Sentry Gun. Sentry Gun, Sentry Gun. This thing is awesome. It kills lots of things, and you don't have to. And by God, that's the American way to go. So we're going to buy one of those right off the bat. You want a regular Sentry Gun in close quarters and a grenade launcher for the long range. Um, if you're playing on Interchange like I am on this sample game, you want to put it right there. I swear to god that thing lasted 35 rounds without taking a scratch. Step 2, buy an assault rifle. One of those four is the way to go. The SCAR, the ACR, the MK14, or the Type 95. All four of those are highly accurate and conserving your ammo, just like think of it like zombies, it's very good to conserve ammo and be able to shoot for the head in this game mode. So that's why I buy those. You can buy a holographic sight for $1,000 and a grenade launcher for a bit more if that's what you want. And you can buy both of course. Um, another thing to keep your eye on, you want to buy a perk and a kill streak. You want sleight of hand or quick draw. You want quick draw if you're not level 50 yet for your perk. And uh, for a kill streak, you want a predator missile or an airstrike to kill uh, infantry or juggernauts. And uh, if you have the spare funds between rounds and you have a chance, then buy a riot shield squad because at the very least they will slow people down and they'll give you you know more chances to shoot people. And they also have really cool names, just uh, watch it, they're all like French names, and they're cool to say. Um, so yeah, d do that, I guess. Um, yeah, so step four, LMGs. Uh, you want to get one of those when you have seven grand to spend. And the two guns I had the most success with were the MK46 and the MG36. Now, you're probably not going to have the MG36 until later on. So MK46 is the third one you unlock, as you can see there. And it has a higher rate of fire, and it, you know it's a bit less accurate, of course. So this will kill things faster, but um, it won't be as accurate. While the MG36 is more accurate, so you'll have more ammo to save. So that's up to you. Um, so here's how to take down juggernauts. If it's just a one-on-one -on -one thing, as you can see, it's uh, wave 10. Um, there's only one juggernaut that drops here. So if you're only up against one of them then you can take your time, you can drop an air marker like I did, air support right there and keep him in place with flashes until the thing drops and that'll very quickly kill him every time it works like a charm uh, the second time you'll be facing off with juggernauts there will be two of them as you can see there on the the mini map uh, for this you know obviously you're going to be playing with a friend if you want to last a while so you can each uh, use a predator missile or an airstrike to kill them individually uh, you can have them follow you until they're together and kill them, you know, two birds with one stone. Or you can, um, you can shoot them in the head. Now that's why I mentioned before with the assault rifles, get the accurate ones. Uh, it's good for infantry, of course, but it's also very, very effective on killing juggernauts. Um, especially with this freaking Type 95, because if you can shoot for the head, it kills them in about half the time. If, you're, if your shot's on target, I kill them with uh, about a clip and a half. And that's not even with like completely perfect aim, of course. Uh, so here on wave 20, there's three of them. And, you know, it can get a bit tricky, but you really don't need to worry a lot. Just keep it cool, and you can move around if you have to. Because, don't forget, these things are slow as hell. You can outrun them if you need to, and if you're low on health, that's what you should do. You don't want to necessarily die, waste four grand. Uh, so you want to be moving around. You can see, as, as you can see, I got shot, so I went back to cover and popped back out once I was healed. And, uh, yeah, you can, you know, take them one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want to fight all three of them at the same time, so, uh, you want to, you know, run when possible, and, like, you see there, go for the head. So, that's how you do that with just Juggernauts. Now, it gets a bit trickier later in the game, as here's, uh, an example of Wave 30 in this game. Uh, there's three Juggernauts that drop, and also, you're up against infantry, and that can mean anything. It can be uh, normal people, uh, it could be the attack guys, it can be a, an attack helicopter, or it can be, you know, obviously all of them. Any combination. But, um, the strategy that I found works best is you want to focus on the smaller guys first. Because the Juggernauts only have one gun to shoot with. Uh, the infantry, they have, you know, they have 20. So you're, you know, you have a higher chance of dying if you leave all those guys unchecked rather than the Juggernaut. Um, if the Juggernauts, you know, when they start getting closer, you either want to move out of the way, or if you have a chance, you want to try to take them out. 
Um, but don't be afraid to run out of the way if need be, because you're, if you're facing off three juggernauts in a whole wave of enemies, then you're not going to do so hot. So just keep moving around if you have to, you know, same thing applies. Uh, just focus on the smaller guys first and then worry about the juggernauts last. Because um, you can actually take advantage of that and uh, you can leave everyone but one juggernaut dead. You know, kill everyone except him. And you can go to your stations, buy whatever you need for the round after. So it should work out very nicely if you follow those steps. And um, yeah, I'm just going to play through a bit. There we go, wave 30 cleared. See, there you go. <clears throat> so, in short, aim high, run when you're hurt, and uh, flashbangs are very good as well. Uh, so, really quick, there's like a little bonus clip, I guess you could say. It's how to get the Get Rich or Die Trying achievement for Xbox, or on PlayStation 3, it'll be a trophy. Uh, to get this, you have to have 50 grand in your pocket. Now, it's not get 50 grand over the whole game, it's have 50 grand. That number in the bottom left has to be 50,000. So, you can actually get this if you manage your money well. You, know, you can get it normally, the way the developers obviously wanted you to. Or you can do what me and my friend did. Uh, as you can see, we're in the mid-20s in terms of round level, and we each have $25,000, so what he's going to do is he's going to transfer all his money over to me temporarily, and that gives you the achievement. It doesn't matter how you get the money, it just matters that you have 50000 Once you have that, then you're good. So, um, as you can see there, it takes longer than 30 seconds to do that, so I'm going to play this round a little bit, and um, you'll see in just a minute here that I get the achievement. It's worth uh, 25 game score, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, what trophy that relates to in, on PlayStation 3, but um, you know, if you're if you're a trophy hunter or a game score whore, then uh, you know, just want to do that. Then this is the best way. There you go. You just you know, make sure you don't uh, make sure you don't die a lot. Because obviously, uh, you know, the more you die, the more revives you have to buy, and the more points you have to spend. So to get quick, manage your money well, and play smart. So there you go, get rich or die trying. So after you've done all these steps, uh, you just have to survive. So here's the must-haves, quick revive ammo, flashbangs, and a kill streak. Um, the, the money is listed there if you want to go back and pause or whatever you want to do. Uh, at this point, you will have enough money to buy anything that your heart desires. So make sure to stock up on whatever you need between rounds. Make sure you always have a quick revive that costs four thousand dollars, because you know it's a you know, second chance at life, and it's also one time that your teammate doesn't have to you know go out of the way and put themselves in danger to, to save the game for both of you. So um, yeah, that that's a must. Uh, make sure you get ammo every one or two rounds, even if you're you still have enough. Yeah, you, know, you never know when you're gonna get that chop around with the juggernauts and everything. And you don't want to be caught with your pants down, and also ammo is freaking cheap, so don't be cheap, just, just buy it. Um, and the kill streak is helpful, like I said, for the Dragonaut rounds, or whenever you're in a tight situation. Uh, predator missile or airstrike, that's really up to you. So, um, you know, whatever suits your playstyle best, you just have to be careful, because with predator missiles, if you're attacked by a dog while you're, uh, you know, calling in the the predator strike then your predator missile goes away and you basically waste all your money and you're kind of screwed and that that is um that's actually one of the factors that happened when we lost this game and uh i should also mention that uh this game we made it to round 38 i believe so it's uh it's very impressive and we actually got to uh, rank 100 on the global leaderboards for a short while as well so um you know you can, you can trust me when i'm that I'm giving you good advice on this stuff. Uh, obviously, you don't have to follow this exactly to the dot if you found a better way. In fact, if you have found something useful that you'd like to add to this, please, uh, you know, leave a comment and stuff. And, you know, I can do, do this update a little bit as I go, as I learn more, as, you know, things, things happen. So, uh, yeah, look at that awesome 9 quad or whatever with that airspeed. That was beautiful. Um, so uh, when you get into the higher rounds like we are now, we're on round 37 now, um, the dogs actually take two knives to kill, so that's another thing to keep in mind when you get into the higher rounds. And also you'll be seeing attack helicopters a lot more frequently. So, uh, you know, just like I said, be prepared, be a, be a boy scout of the spec ops, and, you know, like I said, stock up on everything you can between rounds. You can, 
You know, honestly, I should have like, you know, 10 C4s and 10 Flame Wars because I have the money for it. So, you know, spend, spend, spend. You have no limits on what you can buy now. As you can see, I have actually legitimately have over 50 grand um, to get that Get Rich or Die Trying achievement. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just leave you with the rest of this video. So, you know, like I said, leave a comment if you have a suggestion to be made. And, uh, well, good luck.